Hi Emily. Um, I was just wanted to show you how long my hair was after seven months of having it grown out since I've shaved it. <laughs> I have had it trimmed uh, several times, and I done it for St. Baldrick's, but I have to say it was the best thing for my psoriasis. <laughs> I was wondering though. If I do decide to shave my head again, what are the best wigs? I bought one wig, and it was the most irritating thing ever. <laughs> so I was just trying to figure out what type of brands that you actually use. As I used even a good quality wig, a $40 wig, and it came from a good wig store known as <laughs> I don't know if it was because my psoriasis was not treated because I could not afford the medication if that's why I could not deal with the wigs <laughs> and plus how old were you when you were diagnosed with psoriasis I was diagnosed at 17 but I was actually sent to the nurse's office since the age 13, I believe, every couple months checking to see if I had lice. I never did, but because of me constantly itching my head, I was constantly sent to the nurse's office and checked. And I would be then sent, I would tell her, oh, I'm using dandruff shampoo, as we didn't know, and... <laughs> They would be like, okay, and then just as soon as one person in the school would get life slow, one person get it, they would check me within a week after. It's kind of annoying, but now that I do understand now that I hit adulthood, but it's still annoying. So what were other complications you had? <laughs> How old were you when you finally went to a dermatologist and how old are you now if you don't mind me asking I went at 17 and I'm 18 now have a nice day bye